Hey guys, um, I am going to do a competition uh, makeup tutorial via videoing myself in my bathroom. My shirt blends in with my ugly colored bathroom, so don't judge me. I literally just got out of the shower. I'm exhausted. Okay. Um, so, I am going to um, like edit the video. So, you're not just having to watch me do everything. Um, and I am going to do full makeup. So, um, like, don't judge me when you see me at dance today while I have on so much makeup. Um, I don't have fake eyelashes, but um, I am going to, like, stop um, and kind of talk about it when we get to that point. So, yeah, let's go. So, I'm just putting on lotion all over my face as a primer. Uh, Tiffany Dance. Don't judge me. You should really probably be doing this, but oh well. Okay, I'm having to use two different foundations because um, my husband wouldn't let me go in Ulta the other night and get my foundation, so... Put foundation on your child. It is very, very, very important. It makes her skin look flawless. I know you think that um, you shouldn't because they're like six, but you should. Okay. Who the heck is texting me? My life. Elena. I forgot y'all had a delay at school. Okay, make sure your makeup matches your face because, yeah, then you'll look weird. This doesn't, this is like a MAC, I mean, <clears throat> a matte base, and I really hate it, but we were at the mall and Tristan was in a hurry and she was rushing me, so I got it and it's crap, so... Oh well. Make sure you go everywhere. Look at this. It doesn't even match my face. Oh well. Um, this is a Estee Lauder base. I like it. Doesn't really match my face either. So, oh well. Just be walking around two-toned. Who cares? tell it's in a stupid crummy video how my face looks so yeah okay now when I'm actually getting ready for like other things I really do my eyeshadow first before I do my base but you know, who cares? Mm. My face is so red when I got out of the shower. Okay. Mm. Good enough. You'll never see it from Sage. Okay, and my sinuses are messed up, so I'm really sorry. Okay, um, you don't have to do this on your child, but I'm going to do it because I'm old and 
I need it because I'm old. So I'm just going in with a beauty blender. I'm going to dampen it. You can get these from Target, Walmart, wherever. And I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes. And right here. And on my nose a little bit. And down here. Because I'm red everywhere. Thanks a lot to my Indian father. Ooh, that's a little damp. Okay. Um, I don't really know, like, if I do all this crap the right way, but I just do it because I feel like I know what I'm doing, and I really don't. The hair is more my thing, but, you know, at least you can't say I didn't try, so, yeah. Hmm, looks pretty okay. Okay, next, you want to come in with a powder, this is a MAC powder, um, I don't really like it, I kind of think it's crap, but they taught me about it, so I bought it, um, but yeah, get a powder, a cheap one's fine, it just makes your skin look, mm. just kind of sets everything. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, if you did do the concealer. I suggest taking a, um, a little brush and going under your eye just to set it. Okay. I need some chapstick, but I don't have any. So, yeah. I keep feeling like I have boogers. Um, okay. Uh, next, you want to do a eye primer. You can use the concealer as an eye primer, but I just use my MAC eye primer. And, um, I just think that it really, I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup bag right now. I just think that it really helps you, um, your eyeshadow stay on and, um, the girls, like, obviously are in their makeup all day, so I like to use it. This is a MAC Pro Longwear paint pot, but it's almost gone, so obviously I like it. But you can use a concealer. It's totally fine. I do that a lot. I hate doing my makeup. Sorry I'm using my birdie finger, but whatever. shadows um I just want browns I don't want any black um eyeshadow to me is really hard because obviously I'm blonde um I can wear a lot more eyeshadow than um a lot of other people like Carolina Paris they could probably hold more eyeshadow 
Um, but someone like Kyla or Aubrey or some of the darker skin or Addison, she cannot hold as much eyeshadow. Um, so really, um, it's kind of, kind of a guessing game, but I'm just going to show you how I do my eyeshadow. And this is like, if I ever do any child's makeup, I still kind of go with this baseline. I just may do it lighter or darker. So, yeah. Um, my eyeshadows are crap because my husband won't let me get an Ulta the other night again. So, hmm. I'm just going to kind of show you some eyeshadows that I use that I like. Um, this is a Naked palette. I don't really use it, but a lot of, I mean, okay. It broke, so I don't really use it, um, <clears throat> but a lot of girls have it and they really like it. Um, this is a Too Faced palette. Um, I use it pretty much every single day on myself. I love this palette. Um, there are some blacks in it, so I probably, I don't, I mean, I may use it on something. Um, this is actually a contouring palette, um, but I really, really like it um, on my eyes, eyes too, so that's really nice. Um, uh, this is Smoked by Urban Decay. Um, it's really, really dark, so I wouldn't suggest this on anybody but, like, the older girls. Um, these are really awesome. They came from Sephora, and they were there's four books, and they all have... Um, tons of eyeshadow in them and for the whole um set it was only like twenty dollars so those are really cool and they have like nudes and golds and smoked eye and purple like party and they all have um like ways to do your eyeshadow so yeah just a little crappy tour through my crappy you know makeup set anyway onward I don't know. Um, or you can go to Walmart because um, I know like a lot of the girls under their makeup they have Walmart um, um, browns and they are really awesome. But I don't. So here we go. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna start with a uh, a base shadow. So uh, I just do this all the time with a. Brush this is probably not even the heck the correct brush, but it works for me. So, yeah. I'm just going in with some white. Just to make everything even. I gotta look at right here. Make this go a little faster. Just putting it all over my lid. Okay. Then I'm just going to go in with another, like, kind of a, a I just used this color. And I'm going to use this nudie color and just kind of go all over my lid again. Just even it out. I just like this to do this with the white and stuff because it just, I just feel like it gives everything, it just makes everything look smooth and even. And you're just kind of all working with one color. Because my skin tone is just not a good color, really. It's just weird. Okay. Yeah. So, now. Like I said, this is hard because not every girl is the same. But I'm going to do what I do. You do what you do. Now, where's that dang brush? Okay. I like to wet my shadow like one of them so I'm just getting a little water and I'm just making my brush a little bit wet I don't know if you can tell but it is yeah okay so I'm just going to I just like I'm just taking like this kind of um it looks pink but it doesn't come off pink it comes off like clear and it just makes your um 
your lid. I'm just going to put it on your lid. It makes it shiny and it makes it like really stay on. It gives it like some pigment and dimension, I guess. No, probably not dimension, but whatever. Just, ew. Ew. Something's in my sink. Gross. Hmm. Well, I think I have another brush. I can't tell what that is. Gross. Okay. Back to me focusing. Okay. So, I'm just putting all this, like, all over my lid. And making it wet. Yeah. So, you can kind of, like, see it's kind of shiny and shimmery and just makes your eyes pop a little bit more really hard to do this in the, into the video. I wonder how people that really make tutorials do this. Because I can't. Okay. Um, yeah. So, then I'm just going to go in with, um, just like a, this crappy crap thing. I'm serious, like, my makeup, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time. And I'm going to use a, one of these colors. I'm actually going to use this one right here. I'm just going to put it all up here into my crease. All around, all around, blend, blend, blend. Now, I'm leaving that brush out because I use it a lot. Now, I'm going to take, oh my gosh, eat a squash. My really good, um, like, one that, my one of my brushes I left in Luke's car yesterday. I told him to get that out. Um, hang on. This will work. So, my really good brush that I really like is like this. It's got like that kind of point, but it's a lot stiffer. And I use it on my eyebrows, so we'll see how this goes. And then, I'm just going to take a darker brown. This one right here. And I'm going to really like, line, like, I don't know. Just watch. I can't see. I'm just taking it like back and making like a sharper, darker edge in my crease. Then I'm going to go back with this brush and the other color that we used, that color again, and just kind of go in and blend it. Yeah. So you should look like this. You want your eyeshadow to be dark enough, though, that your child can be seen on stage. Because, remember, the lights wash you out. Yes. Okay. Now. Now, this is the one of my favorite, most favorite brushes in the whole entire world. I used to have a Kat Von D brush just like this. But my dog chewed it up. So. This is from the Ulta set. I love it. Yes. Now I'm going to go in with another, like, brown color. Like a light brown. This one right here. 
and I'm gonna go up here and kind of just start blending in and like I said it's a lighter brown I'm just getting the edges yep like that then I'm gonna take this crappy crap thing and I'm just gonna blend some more blend 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 oh not where I need it to be over there I look good going to dance today Okay, now, I'm going to take um, a really dark brown. I'm going to use this dark brown from my smoke palette. The one that, this palette that I said really is only for probably older girls. But if I had a younger girl, I'd probably use something more along those, those lines. Um, yeah, so then I'm just going to take it and go in my crease again. Y'all, my husband's calling me. Call him back. Go again. Oh yeah, just look about like that. Um, so this is pretty much how I do eyeshadow all the time. Uh, can't stand for it to fall on my face. That's why I normally do my eyeshadow first. Yeah. Um, I might go back in with. Not this brush that I got. Crap. Not this brush that I put something. It, it, something was in the sink. OMG. Yes, Luke. I'm fine. Just doing a makeup tutorial. I'm busy. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'll take, go back with this brush and this, uh, like, I'm going to take this white and a little bit of that and because my brush is still wet and, like, make sure the insides of my eyes are white because you don't want to, you, you want it to be white in here because it looks like your eyes are closed. So, yeah. And that's, like, the bad thing to me with blacks is that, um, it looks like their eyes are like this when they have on their eyelashes and they're like, so, um, yeah, that's why I like browns and mine are kind of dark as you can see, but whatever, I am old and I can do that. So, just be careful applying your child's eyeshadow. Yes. Okay. Here is the best eyeliner in the whole entire world of the world ever, ever. I suggest everyone to get it. Um, Miss Connie told me about it. It is Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. It is literally the best liner. It is kind of expensive, but who cares because it lasts forever and it is awesome. So, um, when you're doing your eyeliner, like, because you're going to put... Right now, I'm going to do my eyeliner, and then you're going to put eyelashes over it. Um, it doesn't really have to be perfect right at this moment. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it really fast, okay? Whoopsie, got a little thick. Thick liner, thick girl. Um... Okay, so 
really fast. Um, okay, I'm just I've just put eyeliner right here on the top. Look how good that looks though. Like it is so smooth. Okay, um so I just put eyeliner right here on the top and um now if I if you have like a younger child like Aubrey Caroline, um the minis, uh a lot of them don't need eyeliner underneath because they're just too little and their eyes just can't hold it. So, if you have a question about that, um, if you're not really sure, um, ask me. Um, I just, I just don't like it on them because they are just too little. Um, and then their eyes really look closed. But I'm gonna put it underneath really fast. So if you have an older child, you can see. Okay, so, not even, oh well, I don't care, it's not going to be even on your child because she's going to be fed up by this time, so who cares. Um, now I'd be putting on my eyelashes, no I wouldn't, yes I would. Now I'd be putting on my eyelashes, I obviously don't have any eyelashes, so I'm going to talk through them really fast. Um, get your glue, the glue is going to have a tip like this, you're going to hold your eyelashes, put it on there. Put your glue on the eyelashes. If you have a child um, that has smaller eyes, um, and I'll get some eyelashes and just put them on somebody for y'all if you want. Um, but um, if you have a child that has small eyes, like you're going to need to cut the eyelashes to fit their eye. Just point blank. They cannot hold. It doesn't matter what size you get. They pretty much cannot hold a full eyelash. Um, so if you have a younger kid, get ready to cut, cut, cut. Um, if you, um, if you, um, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. I gotta focus. Um, back to the eyelashes. So, um, you cut your eyelashes or you just have huge eyes and you're about to put them on. So, um, you have the glue on the eyelash and you just want to place it right along where you've already put your liner. Okay, so basically this liner was just a base liner for your eyelashes so it doesn't look like you have like a white spot under your eyelash. You want it all to be black. Okay, use black eyeliner, use black mascara. I just think you should because you just should. Um, so pretend like I have my eyelashes on. Um, I would go back through now and touch up my eyeliner like whatever I needed to because you're going to need to touch it up. And I really like liquid eyeliner because it kind of like goes over the eyelash. So, yeah. Okay. That's not even, but I don't care. So, yeah, that's that. Now, um, I'm going to go in with my mascara. Um... I have a waterproof and a regular. I don't really use this waterproof because I just don't like it and you can't get it off your eyes really. But um, waterproof is actually really good for dance competition because you sweat a lot and you don't want to have like black all running down. So the, a waterproof is good. I just don't really like it for myself um, every day. So I'm just going to put this on for right now. And... Like, if you had your eyelashes on, if I had my eyelashes on, uh, you want to even put on mascara because um, it just connects everything together and it helps the eyelashes stay on. So, yeah. And everybody has to wear eyelashes. I don't want you coming up to me saying, oh, Miss Kanan, my child has long lashes. I don't care. The judges can't see long lashes from the stage. Don't matter. Put them on. Practice makes perfect, so practice putting eyelashes on your child. And it's really best to practice when they're really tired after a long day of dance because they're going to be really tired at 4.30 in the morning when you are getting them ready to head to the Yucky Alabama Theater 
or you're doing them at the Alamo Theater. You want a lot of mascara, but I'm not really putting on a lot because I'm not really going to a dance competition. So, yeah, that's that. This is something um, I really suggest doing. Uh, after you do that, your mascara, after you do that, go in with um, some powder. And your little brush. I'm going to use my banana set powder, but you can just use cheap powder. And I'm going to go under my eye like that. Just to make sure there's no black. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I do this every day. I have terrible eyebrows. Um, if you can color in your child's eyebrows, it doesn't have to be anything hard. Um, I just think it makes your face look good. So do it if you want to do it. Um, if you don't, ask a mom to help you. I know Miss Tiffany's eyebrows are always on fleek, so Alex Whalen's are really good too. So ask them. This is how I do it. It's probably not the right way, but I think it looks good. So whatever. I probably look like crap, but I don't care. So. Um, I just used, out of my smoke palette, <laughs> I used just this brown that I used on my lid, actually. And I just, this is not the actual brush I used, but it kind of looks like it, so we'll just give it a go. Might look like crap, but I just kind of like follow along in my eyebrow and um, just kind of color it in. And make sure everything just stands out a little bit more. So, I like to do it. I don't really like this brush, but who cares? Like I said, I don't know if it's the right way, but I do it. It's definitely not the brush that I normally use, but who cares. Um, okay. Then I go through with an eyebrow gel just to put them all together. And because my eyebrows really tend to stick up the way they grow, so I like to gel them down. Like your hair. Okay, so now this is the next kind of hard part because everybody's skin tone is different. And um, But um, blush, I do it last. And um, I use my contour kit when I blush my face because... I just did. But, um, this is a cheap blush. You can get it at Walmart. Um, I think that this color is a good color for stage. I really don't think it's a good color for every day. This is actually someone's blush that they left in my caboodle, um, probably two years ago. So, I'm using it. Um, so, just gonna come in with a, a brush. I don't even know if this is the correct blush brush, but I like it because it makes your, uh, blush really stand out. So, I'm just going to take, um, I just think this part is hard because it's kind of like um, eyeshadow. Um, different blushes don't look good on everybody. I usually use more of like a red blush. Um, so, that's why I mix the contour kit in with it. But anyway, you want your blush, you want to use a lot of blush really because you just do. You want to go up, 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 up. Um, when you think you have enough blush, you probably don't, because I have really high cheekbones, so blush kind of stands out on me more. And then, um, I'm just going to take my contouring kit, this brown that I used on my eyes, and kind of go under it a little bit. I'm not really good at contouring, so I don't really do it, 
I just kind of add it into my everyday blush. <laughs> so I take that brown again and just go in and I just kind of think that it makes you stand out a little bit. Then you want to take another brush and just kind of go over your blush like that. Make sure everything is set and good. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you, like I said, this, it's probably not, obviously it's not the correct way and there's like a gazillion ways, but this is just the way I do it and, um, I just think that. It works. I mean, I've done 100 girls makeup on stage and they all look fine. Like I said, I'm really more of a hair person, but um, my wing is not even even. Who cares? Um, um, so this is it. And um, if you have any questions, um, you know, just call me or come up to me and I can show you exactly how to put on um, anything. Um, and obviously, you'd be putting on lipstick, but. My lipstick's out in the car, and it's still, like, 22 degrees outside, so I'm not doing it, but I will show you all the lipstick. It's a NYX lipstick. It's really good, and it lasts, like, forever, and I just think it's a really good lipstick, and I, d I like it. I mean, I use it all the time. So, yeah, this is it. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye!